In this quick tutorial, we're just going to take a look at how to create a few interactions using the power of Luma 1. So here we click on Content, Create Edit, New Video. We'll call it a Quick Start Tutorial, provide a title, description, my, my language is set to English, and I can choose a file from my desktop or use um, a, provide a video URL from a site such as YouTube. Here I'll choose a mp4 file from my desktop. I'll use my copy course. I could also capture directly from my webcam if I chose as well. And I'll click Save. I can always go back and um, edit additional items within that screen. So double click here and I can add an end message, pass message, all of those can be adjusted at any time. So here we're in the authoring view. You can see the navigation bar up here. I have a number of different interactions that I can add to my video. To start, perhaps I'd like to add an image. So let's add an image to my video. I'm going to actually add a logo and it's going to appear for um, the, the majority of this video. I'll set it to appear from the very beginning all the way to the 26 second one frame point. So I am going to give a title Title and description is good to do um, because then it stores it properly in your library, which can be used um, when creating content in future. So just to speed up authoring in the future, you have all of these assets already stored within your Luma One site. So I'll choose my my image file here and click save, and it'll appear and load on my video. So I can resize my image. I can drag and drop to anywhere where I think that it looks best. And let's say, for example, I also want to add a bit of an action to this. Um, I can add a transition. So this logo will actually come in from the right to the left of the screen. I can have that duration of that transition set to two seconds. Um, I also, with most objects, you have an action button here. So click here and I can have, um, when a user clicks on this image that I've created, it jumps them to a frame. I could choose that option, um, shows text or tile, or launches URL. I'll choose launch URL for this example. So what will happen is that it will go to the Luma.1 website. Um, Click save, save, and close. So when I'm happy with that object, I'll proceed along. And at any point, I can pause and add additional interactions to my screen. I'll add a text object next. So here, click on the text interaction. And I can say that this text is going to appear on the screen for a few seconds. I'm not going to have the video pause. Um, I'll Use this as my text. Great, so in the text area I have my tutorial. quick tutorial is the text that's going to appear. I can choose style, so adjust the style of this object, change the font for example. You see I have a quick preview here that shows me what it's going to look like. Or maybe I, I want this font to be a bit bigger. I can change the opacity, perhaps we'll change it to 70. When I'm happy with this, I can click Save, Save, and Close. Now, just as a side note, if I choose that I prefer to work with a grid, it might be nice to add a grid here as an author, and I can have my interactions locked to grid. So it helps to keep things straight on the page and consistent. So we'll click Save, play the video a bit further, And let's say I can jump around. Let's say at the this point, 18 second point, I want to add a question. Let's create a polling question. We have a number of different types, such as the multiple choice, open choice, um, open answer, fill in the blank. Um, but let's create this uh, polling for our example. I'm going to have the video pause. Um, and the question is going to be simple. Do you like coffee? So in the question stem, here is the title of the question. And actually, I'd like to personalize this. 
perhaps at the first, I would like to add first name of that user. So when they're viewing it, um, in my example, it's going to say, Tara, do you like coffee? First name. And I'll add the possible answers. Yes and no. I can also choose to customize the bar color of my polling question. So everything can be configured, customized to, to your look and feel. I can change the font as well by clicking the style button. Um, just important to note with the polling object, the answers can be based locally. Um, so if I created a group, it's the real-time responses based on that group or global. Everyone in my uh, Luma One site, so the answers are, are appearing to my learners based on everyone. Um, I'll just do it for as local. Click Save, Close, and again, drag and drop that into place. I'm snapping it to grid so it has a, a nice look and feel. So that's it. We've created a few interactions. Um, if you'd like to learn more, uh, we do have a more in-depth tutorial that goes through each of the Luma One objects. Thanks for listening.